Nation. My name is Jake. Today is Tuesday, February 20th, 2024. Hi, also my spring. I'm Chloe. The weather today is rainy with a high of 55 degrees and a low of 31. The air quality of 735 this morning is 57. Let's find out what's for lunch today. Lunch today is sweet sour chicken wings or meatballs with fried rice, chicken veggie dumplings or Mediterranean hummus salad with chips served with seasoned peas and carrots, seasoned corn, frozen blueberry cup and your choice of milk. Breakfast tomorrow will be pancakes or sausage patty served with pineapple tippets and your choice of 100% fruit juice or milk. Are, are you ready for today's Black History Month trivia question clue? Listen carefully. I was a tennis champion and the first African-American man to win Will Belton be, be beyond my athletic achievements. I was an ad, ad boy, evident for civil rights. The author Ash Courage Award Award in named in my honor. Who am I? Don't forget to drop your answers into the boxes label with your grade level on top of the library book return. We hope you had a nice 40 weekend. We have a special video made by Nurse Dee Dee with the help of some of our Osprey crew members. Take it away, Nurse Dee Dee. Hello, everybody. Nurse Dee Dee. And Alina. And we're here to talk to you all about nosebleeds. There have been a lot of kids who have visited the nurse office with nosebleeds lately. So if the air is cold and dry outside, and it's also dry inside, that's the perfect recipe for a nosebleed. Um, although nosebleeds might seem a little bit scary, they're harmless and they don't really hurt at all. Okay, so when you're in your classroom and you blow your nose and you see a little bit of blood on your tissue, um, it's actually normal and it's nothing to be too concerned about. You don't even have to visit the nurse's office. When you are done cleaning your nose with the tissue, just make sure to wash your hands and you can continue learning in your classroom. office. It's okay, Cora. For a small nosebleed, you don't have to go to the nurse's office. Just grab tissues and clean your nose. Make sure you wash your hands when you're done. You suddenly have a nosebleed and the blood doesn't stop coming out. Please go to the nurse Dee's office and the nurse Dee can help you. You'll want to grab some tissues or paper towels, hold it over your nose, and pinch the soft part of your nose tightly. And you're going to want to tilt your head down slightly. Do not look up, look down. When you get to the nurse office, I may give you some gauze that looks like this. It's a little bit better at stopping the bleeding than tissues or paper towels. Usually, I'll have you hold pressure on your nose until the bleeding stops. When, you, when your nose bleed is finished, you can wash your hands and face and return to class. If it lasts for a long time, the nurse Didi may have to call your parent or your guardian. All right. Thank you guys for learning about nosebleeds with us. If you have any questions, you can always come to my office. Bye! Bye. Thank you for watching. Good morning, Osprey Nation. Buenos dias. Anyong haseyo. Welcome back to everybody. I hope everybody rested this wonderful four-day weekend also recognizing our United States presidents. They created a wonderful country for us. All right, guys, I know you've been waiting for it. Last week's trivia question. I became a symbol of pride after winning four track and field gold medals in the 1986 Berlin Olympics. In college, I won all 42 track and field events that I earned during my junior year. In college, I joined a fraternity, Alpha Pi Alpha. It was also in college that I was given the name Buckeye Bullet. Who am I? Well, thanks to Emma in fourth grade in Miss Harrison's class, and thanks to Felicity in Miss Troy's first grade class, we got an answer. Jesse Owens. That's right, Jesse Owens. That's all that wonderful things he did as an athlete 
and representing the United States at the Olympics. Isn't that great? So much learning. Did you get your answer from Ms. Huang? Or did you look for it with your teacher? I hope you guys searched high and low. And I know I'm already starting to think about tomorrow's answer. Keep looking for those amazing answers. I know Ms. Huang has a good book about it. All right, guys. This week, we have a four-day week. Today is Tuesday, not Monday. And I'm so sorry the buses were a little bit behind schedule. It happens. PT, it's a military installation. It happens, guys. But don't forget, you're here to focus. You're here to do the right thing even when nobody is looking. Use those lovely three R's. Don't forget, share it with a new student that may be sitting right next to you or across from you. Tell them all about our three R's. I'll let you share that. All right, guys. We're always looking for our three R's in the hallway, the buses, the cafeteria, and of course, in your classroom. Because ready to learn is the best one. All right. Don't forget to thank your teachers for doing some amazing work in making you smarter and brighter. All right. Don't forget that your teachers love you very, very much because they dedicate so much time to making you smarter and brighter. And don't forget Dr. Sullivan and I, we care about you so very much as well. All right. Use your skills. Get smarter and brighter. And now for your Korean phrase of the week. Have a great day. Remember, last week we learned to say left when joke, right? 오른쪽. Straight ahead, 똑바로. If you want to give directions to someone like a taxi driver, just add 가세요. 가세요. Please go to the left. 왼쪽 가세요. Please go to the right. 오른쪽 가세요. Please go straight ahead. 똑바로 가세요. You can make it sound better by adding 으로. That spells just like the European money. Please go to the left. 왼쪽 으로 가세요. Please go to the right. 오른쪽 으로 가세요. However, you don't have to add anything to please go straight ahead. 똑바로 가세요. That's all for today. 안녕히 계세요. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and place your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for the purpose statement. If you are new here, please try to follow along as we see our school purpose statement. Work together to develop characteristics and implement practices that produce enduring students, staff, and school excellence. Have an awesome Osprey Day. Osprey, lead the way. <laughs>